because the world is full of idiots that don't understand what's important, and they'll tear us apart, Morty. But if you stick with me, I'm gonna accomplish great things, Morty. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 rejected cartoons that became successful. My flute spell was for you too. You're an exceptional beast and you have great hair, but exceptional beasts like us cannot fall in love. For this list, we'll be looking at the most popular animated television shows that were turned down by networks before finding their home channels. Which cartoon are you most glad made it to air? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, The Proud Family. Before finding a home on Disney, this comedic family series was considered for two other networks. So what are we gonna do? Stand out here forever? If I have to. Well, if I were going to negotiate, I'd have to do it with something warm in my stomach. The show was originally being developed by rival kids channel Nickelodeon. Despite producing a pilot, the network ended up never moving forward with the project. However, a Disney representative who had seen the pilot expressed interest. The concept was considered for Disney's One Saturday Morning on ABC before finally landing at the company's network for children. Friday has an exit sign, the getting there still takes some time. What would make me feel real fun? One Saturday morning. It became the first animated Disney Channel original series. After two seasons, the show inspired a movie and a follow-up series that premiered on Disney Plus in 2022. Now hold it right there, young lady. Let me see what you got on. Oscar, haven't you embarrassed her enough? Oh no, I'm just getting started. Number nine, Pepper Ann. Who's that girl? What's her name? Is she cool? Is she lame? Oh, you're talking about what's her name? Pepper Ann. If you were a kid between 1997 and 2011, it's likely you used to wake up on Saturday and watch the morning programming block on ABC. Originally called Disney's One Saturday Morning, Pepper Ann was among the first of its cartoons to be aired. Show creator Sue Rose actually began developing the series with a Nickelodeon executive named Linda Semensky. But the network lost interest in the cartoon when Semensky left for Cartoon Network. It was destined to be the worst week of my life. The older, grizzly girls were already giving me a hard time. Rose eventually ended up bringing the project to Disney, where she was able to hire her friends as writers. As the company's first woman to create an animated series, she developed a host of relatable female characters previously unseen on television. The same old, same old may work for you, but I for one cannot stomach one more bologna and cheese sandwich. Today, I'm buying lunch. Number 8. Star vs. The Forces of Evil Darren Nefsey is only the third woman to create an animated television series for Disney. Her fantastical show features a princess with magical powers and her life as a foreign exchange student on Earth. Originally, the creator pitched a slightly different version of the show to Cartoon Network. However, the channel rejected her series and sent Nefsey back to the storyboard. Frankly, I like taking risks and would welcome a little danger in my life. <laughs> She continued to make tweaks before pitching her story to Disney. After company executives gave their suggestions, she made the final changes that led to the show fans love. The first three seasons premiered on Disney XD, and the fourth and final one came out on Disney Channel. Yo, Star. Shut up! You buried it in a pet cemetery? Well, he's small! Number 7. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy Creator Maxwell Adams first used Billy and Mandy as characters in his college thesis. However, I cannot allow you to take Mr. Snuggles. How dare you give orders to me? I have powers you can't possibly imagine. Once employed as an animator, he pitched a short film to Hanna-Barbera executives that also included the fictional kids. The two characters were the highlight of the pitch, so Adams was encouraged to create a story that centered around them befriending the devil. When he brought the revised short to Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network, only the latter was willing to greenlight the show. Billy and Mandy! Congratulations! And welcome to Cartoon Network, Billy and Mandy! But company executives didn't approve of the devil as a character. This led to the Grim Reaper being swapped in instead. In 2000, the short film won Cartoon Network's Big Picks viewer poll. It was a segment of the show, Grim and Evil, before becoming its own series. <laughs> Dead suits! This movie's too scary! Oh, please. I've seen scarier stuff in your toilet. Yeah. Number 6, The Ghost and Molly McGee. Having already worked together on other series, seasoned writers Bill Motts and Bob Roth together conceived of a show called The Curse of Piper McGee in 2007. Despite being longtime Disney employees, the creators pitched the show to Nickelodeon only to be rejected. Your performance is disappointing. Misery is declining in Cedar Valley. 
They ended up spending time on other projects and reworking the pitch for years. After signing an overall deal with Disney, the pair pitched the story again, this time to their bosses. Ah, uh, he's so gross. Get me more! Luckily, it was approved and put into production. Fourteen years after first being conceived, the cartoon finally made it to air. The show has received praise from critics and audiences over its premise and optimistic titular character. You know what I see here? Limitless potential. Number 5. The Amazing World of Gumball Gumball, don't forget to take that DVD back today or we'll get a fine. <sighs> Can't you do it? You're the one with the car. Ben Bokele was working for Cartoon Network Studios Europe when they invited their employees to suggest cartoon ideas. He then assembled a cast of his characters that were previously rejected and came up with a pitch for his employers. After the concept was approved, Bokele went on to develop this show. It uses a variety of animation styles and has a chaotic vibe. Oh, isn't she lovely? How old is she then? She's four now. In addition to being silly and fun, the series isn't afraid to investigate more serious topics. Not only did it receive critical acclaim, but it also inspired executives to push for a movie. Unfortunately, the film's fate is in limbo as of 2022, but it's impressive to think a bunch of rejected characters starred in a show that made it this far. This is extraordinarily painful. Number 4. Phineas and Ferb There's 104 days of summer vacation, and school comes along just to end it. The whimsical cartoon was rejected by multiple networks before eventually being picked up by Disney. Its creators Dan Pavenmeyer and Jeff Swampy Marsh met while working as artists for The Simpsons. Together they developed a series beginning with Pavenmeyer's sketch of a character with a triangle-shaped head. When the show wasn't initially greenlit, the animators moved on to other projects and began to grow apart. But Pavenmeyer pitched the series to different networks such as Cartoon Network and Fox Kids whenever he could. Okay. In this scene, the monster, that's you, gets attacked by 800 cubic feet of rats, spiders, and snakes. He eventually booked a meeting with Disney 16 years after the cartoon's conception. Although the company executives took their time greenlighting the series, it was approved for production in the end. The show is praised for its wit and imagination. Brilliant! Hey, Candace is rooting for us. Candace, you're on the big screen. Number 3. Adventure Time Adventure Time, come on, grab your friends, we'll go to very distant lands. When Pendleton Ward's fantastical cartoon was only a short film, it was broadcasted on Nicktoons Network and went viral online. But the company denied greenlighting a show based on the short five separate times. Eventually, the network's rights to the series expired and Ward was free to pitch it to others. Marceline, is it just you and me in the wreckage of the world? That must be so confusing for a little girl. Cartoon Network actually saw the potential in the dark comedy. However, it still rejected the first storyboard they were presented with, but the second one was approved. Since its premiere, the television show has received acclaim. In addition to being funny, it's not afraid to investigate darker subjects or push the envelope. This cartoon is enjoyable for the whole family. Hey man, don't even worry about all this war stuff. I know we'll find a way to fix this thing. Come on, you'll see. Number 2. South Park There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. For when they placed it on his head, dude! What? Trey Parker and Matt Stone met during a film class in college. Together, they created a short yet raunchy Christmas-themed stop-motion animation using construction paper. Intrigued by the video, an executive at Fox prompted them to make a second short, which went viral. Here we are, Jesus. South Park Mall. Who are you looking for? Him. Ho, ho, ho. The creators began discussions with the network about adapting the concept into a full series, but higher ups did not approve of the character Mr. Hankey. In the end, it was clear it couldn't be made to work with Fox, so Parker and Stone took their project elsewhere. After pitching to both MTV and Comedy Central, they were greenlit by the latter. The show became critically acclaimed. More than two decades later, new episodes are still being made. Everyone, great job. You just got pwned by a towel. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Rick and Morty Morty, you gotta, come on, you, you gotta what? come with what, me. What, Rick? What's going on? I got it's, a surprise for you, Morty. It's the middle of the night. What are you talking about? Come on, you got a surprise for you. Come on, hurry up. Channel 101 is a film festival that gives the audience the power to vote for which projects they approve. In the early 2000s, then-reality TV producer Justin Roiland submitted a few shorts to the festival, including a twisted parody of Back to the Future. His works were shocking and rejected by audiences. However, Roiland garnered the attention of one of the festival's co-founders, Dan Harmon. When Harmon was asked by Adult Swim to make an animated series, he contacted Roiland for ideas. So now we're going to have to go get more. And then we're going to go on even more adventures after that, Morty. 
they decided to use characters from the Back to the Future parody. Doc Smith and Marty became Rick and Morty, and the rest of the show developed around them. While the final product is still off-color, it's also highly beloved by fans. Oh my god, stop explaining! Stop explaining! Are you finished? She's not finished. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.